Hello fun people, today we're exploring the awesome backstory of one of the founding members of the Kung Fu Council, Master Storming Ox. Now Master Ox grew up within Gongmen City. He was raised under the watchful eye of his father who provided him structure and guidance, but he longed for more and was fascinated by Kung Fu. According to Storming Ox's bio on the original Kung Fu Panda website, as a child, Ox would often skip his chores and sneak into the Peacock's palace to watch a young Thundering Rhino spar with his father, Master Flying Rhino. Eventually, Thundering Rhino noticed Ox and his enthusiasm for the art of Kung Fu, so he began to train him. Now, while Ox understood Kung Fu was the most respected art form in China, he didn't necessarily internalize that early in his life. While he was training with Master Rhino, he struggled to see that what he was learning would be able to benefit every citizen within Gongmen City, but he couldn't see beyond himself and part of the reason for that lack of clarity was because his teacher was wrestling with his own demons. Thundering Rhino felt trapped under the shadow of his highly respected and beloved father while he was living in Gongmen City, so he inevitably left his home to explore China and discover his destiny. But that meant Ox was left without a master. Most likely inspired by Rhino's decision to leave the city, Ox eventually went into the world as well. To survive, he quickly learned he could earn extra cash by using his kung fu skills as a street fighter, and he was great at it. Ox's strength, determination, and natural tactical brilliance made him a force to be reckoned with. My uniqueness is to analyze your weakness. And with the realization that he could survive by dominating opponents across China, he saw his potential. But Ox didn't see himself as a noble warrior. He was swept up by the belief that Kung Fu could be his path to riches and wealth. And the fortune. Don't forget about the fortune. Then I can quit wasting my time on street fighting and spend it counting my money. The purity of Kung Fu was not Ox's concern. Without guidance from a wise teacher, Ox was following his impulsive desires and just didn't question his path until the day he ended up in a fighting ring in the city of Jin Zhao. On that day, Ox met a former crocodile bandit named Croc and reunited with Thundering Rhino. This was the first time the future Kung Fu Council was brought together. And immediately, Master Ugwe recognized their potential and came to believe that their destinies were intertwined. All they needed was a cause worthy enough to fight, and that very night, one emerged. The heinous Wu sisters escaped from prison and began working on forming a criminal syndicate that would span all of China. Ugwe quickly informed the three warriors of the impending danger, but they were unconvinced at first that they should put themselves in danger for the innocent as they they were all pursuing their own selfish goals. It was only when Ugwe promised that they would receive a wealth of riches by completing this journey that they headed towards the Wu sisters fortress inside the Hubei volcano. Ox believed this was his chance to ascend out of his life of fighting for coins on the street. He was convinced that he would finally earn the wealth that he had been seeking, but this adventure would be so much more than that for him. By the way, if you enjoy the videos I create, please consider supporting the channel and going deeper with the community over on Patreon, which is linked down below. Over there, you can get exclusive weekly live streams with me, early access to new videos, and the ability to chat in our community's private Discord server. Now, on the treacherous path to the Wu Sisters, the masters of the Kung Fu Council were almost lost to the volcano they were ascending until Ugwe saved them and appeared to sacrifice his own life for them. But instead of immediately rising to meet the trials that were laid before them, Ox buckled under the pressure and suggested that without their guide, they weren't capable of completing their mission. It will never be more than a bunch of lousy street fighters. But when the trio found a destroyed village, they were moved by the harmless bunnies who needed their help. Ox finally saw that collecting riches was not the way to find true fulfillment. When the path you walk always leads back to yourself, you never get anywhere. Through Rhino's leadership, Ox and Croc saw that they had to change course, so the trio decided to ascend the rest of the mountain. Not for their own benefit, but because it was right. And when they banded together to fight off the Wu sisters, they walked away victorious. Humbled by the experience, all three warriors saw how their mastery over Kung Fu could be utilized to benefit the world, which set them all down the path to become heroes. Now, while Ox, Rhino, and Croc saw their potential as a team and were bonded in their friendship for life, they would not unify permanently just yet. They continued on their own individual paths until they were called together again. 
Ox specifically saw how committing himself to the service of others was a truly worthy experience, so he answered the call from those in need across China. And over that time, Storming Ox established himself as a highly skilled and brave master. He fought off the Macau Marauders with a simple sword, took on the 72 bandits of the Wing Chou province with nothing but his bare horns, and defeated 200 rat bandits at once. But Ox didn't just continue to fight everywhere he went. When the rice fields in the Wing Chou province flooded, he worked the fields for free in hopes of saving as much of the crops as he could for the villagers. While Master Ox was a tough, massive brute, he was also able to connect to a lighter side of himself that was willing to joke around and have fun. He wasn't driven by money anymore. He was in pursuit of emotional riches, which prepared him for his time on the Kung Fu Council. You see, after Lord Shen was banished from Gongmen City by his parents, the peacock rulers of the city, there was no heir to take the throne after Shen's parents passed away. To preserve order across Gongmen City, Master Thundering Rhino recruited his friends Master Croc and Master Storming Ox to come together again to finally form the Kung Fu Council. He took them both as his pupils and they established themselves as the peaceful stewards and protectors of the city. He was still quick to action and he challenged Rhino as a master, but Ox was a loyal friend, a trusted member of the council, and was Master Thundering Rhino's greatest student. You see, Rhino's horn defense would develop into an impervious technique against other warriors, and Rhino shared that knowledge with Ox so that he could use his horns in combat. Instead of using his horns for defense though, he transformed them into his most deadly weapon. Master Ox would train using axes and swords too, but his horns would eventually allow him to take on dozens of attackers at once. But when Lord Shen returned to Gongmen City, Master Ox and the rest of the Kung Fu Council were unable to stop the weapon Shen would unleash upon them. When Shen's cannon fired against Master Thundering Rhino, his life was taken, and all that remained of him was his hammer and his friends. Ox and Croc were shaken by the death of their friend, and they were fearful now. They were on their own, and they once again felt like they had no hope. Everything Storming Ox had come to believe about himself, the Kung Fu Council, and the art of Kung Fu seemed to be over. Kung Fu is dead. But with the encouragement of Shifu, Master Ox eventually helped the Dragon Warrior avenge Thundering Rhino by defeating Lord Shen. And as Thundering Rhino's most respected student, Storming Ox most likely became the master of Gongmen City and their Kung Fu school. And he proved with the rise of Kai that he would fearlessly protect his home to the bitter end. Master Lizard, Master Ox, all of them. In every village from the sea to here, every master in China has vanished. While Master Storming Ox began his journey as a self-focused, materialistic, and impulsive warrior, he evolved beyond that. Through the inspirational leadership of his great friend Thundering Rhino, he became a powerful, resilient, and committed servant for all of Gongmen City. Fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson. Thanks for watching, and have a magical day.